fiddleheads. Welcome to station AOAS. I'm Justice Nunsuch, and I'll be your host for today's Omnicast. From the It Could Only Happen on Our Planet desk, the debilitating odor of durian fruit wafting out from a package at a German post office left six postal workers hospitalized and another five dozen had to be evacuated. Both police and firefighters were called to Schweinfurt, Germany, owing to suspicions that the postal package contained a dangerous gas or harmful substance. Described in Southeast Asia as the king of fruits, the spiky skin fruit has a smell comparable to that of rotten meat, sewage, and dead rats. At the same time, the Omni Tales and Tea Tour started last week with 48 stops to go. Those lucky folks who live on Gaia in the oasis known as Sao Cal can win a spot at one of the upcoming themed teas by sharing the event of their choice on Society Omnia Media. And if you don't win this time, you have 47 more tries. Additionally, for those following Peyton Drake's Omni Tale Saga, novella number six, Masked by Lies, will release in just three weeks. Its video trailer is up on this channel now. Take a peek you can, if you could wrench yourself away from the newscast. In finance, as value standards change across the dimensions, the interdimensional cur- currency change has found itself in a, a free fall. Gold and silver are no longer valued as much as peace of mind and a good haircut. Those who can harness the power of humor are now regarded as the wealthiest beings in the uni- universe. Let's me out. As part of station AOAS straight from the art segment, I will read a section from the Academy's Elements of Verse Anthology, The Breath of Dragons by Susan Fleming. The dragons will fly when I die, bringing me back to them. In the ancient valleys will I lie with a shining blade by my side. I rode and fought and flew with him, back in black and shining like the night, His name I called on Canyon's Rim. We sailed the moon behind the clouds. My dragon sleeps in caves so deep with a mountain beyond the sun. He waits for me while others weep. We'll sail the world so wide. The dragons will fly when I die, bringing me back to them. The black beast will fly, taking me away to the valley next to him. The weather is acting up again. Flowers in several realms have refused to bloom unless given sparkling water. Floral nurseries have poured gallons of club soda, seltzer, and tonic water on the blossoms, all for naught. As the flowers have stipulated, they will settle for nothing but naturally carbonated water from the rattling, bubbling brooks of Babylonia. Floors fill for their lives. Once word gets out, there won't be any corsages for prom. In sports, Competitors in the Professional Twister League are mourning one of their own. During the twist-off finals, top-ranked Kyle Bender was unable to accept his gold medal when he twisted himself into a knot from which he could not emerge, ultimately perishing from starvation and dehydration. Snyder's of Hanover has set up a scholarship in Bender's name to which well-wishers may contribute in lieu of sending flowers or pretzels. And now for the upcoming observances. Book Learning Day, Book Lovers Day, I just spoke. Lazy Day, depending on how short this list is, it seems those in charge of this calendar take Lazy Day seriously. There's also a competition. As a three-time winner, I've been asked to be a judge. Nah, too much effort. National Duran Duran Appreciation Day, Home Sewing Machine Day, Vinyl Record Day, Elephant Day, Milkman Day, Left Handers Day, Creamsicle Day, Calligraphy Day, Honeybee Awareness Day, Presidential Joke Day, uh, Guinness Book of World Records, Most Clowns in One Town, Washington, D.C., S'mores Day, Relaxion Day. That concludes this week's Omnicast. Tune in next week if you, you can bear to turn on the news. For station AOAS, I'm Justice Nunsuch, Charisse Somme.